Oh yeah, let's learn English with Justin Bieber and his hit new song, Yummy. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yummy. So after a long time of not putting out any record, Justin is finally back with a new album. And do you know what yummy means? Now, yummy means delicious, but it can also have another connotation. Let's look at what Justin says this song is about in a recent interview on The Ellen Show. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. Um, what does that mean exactly? I mean, I think I know, yeah. but, but what were you thinking of when you wrote that yummy? Um... Yeah. <laughs> My sex life. Okay. That's <laughs> okay. what I thought it was. Yeah. So this song is full of some fantastic vocabulary and expressions to improve your English, but it goes without saying that the topics discussed in the song may not be for everyone. So if you're looking for something more appropriate, then you might want to check out one of the lessons in this playlist. Otherwise, let's check out the song that Justin wrote for his wife, Haley Baldwin. So before we get into learning all of the most important information from this song, I wanted to let you know that if you're new here, every week we make fun lessons just like this one with your favorite songs, series, movies, and more so that you can understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. Like Tangus who said that our videos helped him to increase his TOEFL score will help you to reach your goals learning English too. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss any of our new lessons. You'd use the phrase on my way to say that you're currently going somewhere. Example, I was on my way to work when I found him. Be patient, I'm on my way. Bonafide, stallion. Here we can see Justin complimenting his wife by calling her a bona fide stallion. Bona fide is a not so common adjective used to say that something is real. Example, this is my first bona fide job. A stallion is a male horse. Do you know which of these is the word to refer to a female horse? You might be wondering, how could this be considered a compliment? Well, the term stallion can be applied to both men and women. For men, it's used to describe masculinity, while for women, it's used for complimenting their figure. In other words, he's saying she is a real beauty. Continuing with the equine metaphor, a stable is a building in which horses are kept. The idiom on the run has several meanings. It's commonly used to refer to someone that keeps moving from one place to another. Justin might mean here that Haley isn't just a beautiful woman who stays in the house like a horse in its stable, rather she has her own active and ambitious life like a horse on the run. Ain't on the side, you're number one. Ain't is considered grammatically incorrect, but it is a part of informal native speech and you will hear it all the time in different types of media. It can mean am not, is not, are not, and also have not or has not. For example, I ain't gonna help you. I ain't got time. Let's look at a couple more examples of ain't in other songs. I ain't gonna be cooking all day. If someone's number one, it means that that person is the most important in a certain activity or area. 
You lied to me, dad, and now you made mommy sad. And I bought you this coin, it says number one dad. That's all I wanted, I just wanna give you this coin. I get the point, fine, me and mommy are going. Nigga the life, the name of the life. I'm the number one chick, I don't need no hype. The capital B means I'm about that life. The capital B means I'm about that life. By saying this, Justin means that his wife is the best. It also seems like he's reassuring Haley that she's the only woman in his life. Let's listen again to the way that Justin says these verses. Here, we have a good example of connected speech, the way that natives link their words together. Pay attention to the way that Justin pronounces the phrase, ain't in no stable. You probably noticed that some words are much easier to hear, while others seem to disappear. We only stress these content words. The function words in and no are not stressed. Furthermore, when we have the letters NT together, natives often drop the T sound, and that's exactly what Justin's doing here. Then, function words often link to content words. So instead of saying ain't in, he says ain't in. There are a couple more verses of the song with ain't, where he does the same thing. Ain't on the side, you're number one. You ain't never running low on supplies. Hey, do you want to learn the way that natives really speak like you just have here? Well, the most fun way to do it is with our Fluent with Friends course. Now, in this 48-week course, you will master the principles of native connected speech alongside the first two seasons of the TV series Friends. With 20 plus page PDF power lessons, vocabulary memorization software, access to our Fluency Circle global community, and so much more. And you can try it for free right now with our three-part masterclass. What are you waiting for? Just click up here or down in the description below and you can learn more and sign up for that right now. Yeah, every time I come around, you get it done. The phrasal verb come around can be used to say that you're visiting someone. Example, he comes around to my house every week. If you get something done, you finish that thing. If you split something, you divide it in two or more parts. You could use this word to refer to things, example, let's split the cake, or people, example, my boyfriend and I split, we are no longer together. Here, 50-50 could refer to the way that Justin and Haley share their riches. That is, half of it to each. A rack is a thousand dollars, so a hundred racks is a hundred thousand dollars. Do you know which of these also means a thousand dollars? Justin's asking his wife for help to spend his money. Throughout this song, he refers many times to his wife with the word babe. Many people use this word to refer in an affectionate way to someone they love, mostly their partner. Example, I'm sorry babe, don't be mad. Get Liddy is a slang phrase used to express great excitement or enthusiasm. It is interesting how he combined this with the literal light a match, which means to make the match catch fire. The jet set, watch the sunset, kinda. Yeah, yeah. The term jet set is used to refer to a very exclusive and wealthy lifestyle that involves frequent travel. As you can imagine, Justin and his wife usually travel around the world in private jets. The word kinda is a contraction of the words kind of. Even though you might not always see it written like this, it's commonly pronounced like that because of connected speech. So in American English, the of sound often contracts to just an uh sound, making it sound like this. Yeah, yeah. I put my hand on a stove to 
Watch the sunset, kinda, yeah, yeah. Rolling eyes back in my head, make my toes curl, yeah, yeah. While this whole song has sexual content implied, this verse is quite explicit as rolling your eyes back and curling your toes are some behaviors directly related to it. Sit up, work on my way, standing up, keep me on the rise. Lost control of myself, I'm compromised. You're incriminating, no disguise. And you ain't never running low on supplies. If you're kept on the rise, you stay in a high position. Here, Justin's talking in a metaphorical way, saying that his wife keeps him centered and successful. Up, keep me on the rise. Here we have another good example of connected speech. Up is a preposition, which is an example of a function word. As we've previously mentioned, these words reduce and connect to content words, like stand or standing. Furthermore, natives often drop the G in words ending in ing, stand in instead of standing. So instead of saying standing up, Justin says standing up. Standing up, keep me on the rise. Natives do this all the time. Let's look at some more examples of the reduction of prepositions and connected speech. Thought I'd end up with Sean, but it wasn't a match. Wrote some songs about Ricky, now I listen and laugh. Oh, when we came, we let the story begin. We're going out on our first date. You and me are thrifty, so go all you can eat. Fill up your bag and I fill up the plate. Control on myself, I'm compromised. This word can be used to mean that you risk harming or losing something important. Example, the safety of our workers was compromised. Justin had several episodes where he lost control and he even got a criminal assault conviction. You're incriminating, no disguise. If you incriminate someone, you make that person seem guilty, especially of a crime. Example, a lot of powerful people were incriminated with the Panama Papers. A disguise is something you put on so no one recognizes you. We can also use this as a verb. Example, I disguised myself with a wig and a mustache. Here, he might be saying that because she married him, she's taking the risk of also being guilty if he does something wrong, and that he admires her for not trying to hide from that. You ain't never running low on supplies. If you say you're running low on something, you mean that you haven't got much left of it. For example, you could run low on gas after driving for a long time. Do you know another similar way to say this? The term supplies is commonly used to refer to things you need to live or perform a particular activity. For example, food, medicine, or equipment. By saying this, Justin's saying that his wife always has everything she needs. A hop is a small jump, and Lambo is short for Lamborghini, which is an expensive Italian sports car that Justin owns. By saying this, he basically means that he got inside his car to go meet her. Yo, do you love singing and dancing while you learn English? Well then all of the lessons in this playlist are perfect for you. You can check that out after you finish this video by clicking up here or down in the description below. True house slippers on with a smile on my face.
Justin Bieber's fashion line is called Drew House. The brand is known for its smiley face iconography. As you can see in the picture, they also produce slippers, which are a very comfortable type of shoe for wearing inside the house. Elated is a good word to use when you want to say that you feel extremely happy and excited. You'd often feel like this after achieving something that you really wanted. Example, she was elated by winning the contest. He's saying to his wife that she makes him feel like this. Lady is a usually formal way to refer to a woman. For example, we can refer to a woman's bathroom as the ladies room. Example, excuse me, where's the ladies room? Now, in more informal contexts, if you say that a woman is your lady, you mean in a loving way that she is your significant other. Watch the sunset, kinda. Yeah, yeah. Rolling eyes back in my head, make my toes curl. Yeah, yeah. Say the word, on my way, standing up. Keep me on the rise. Lost control of myself, I'm compromised. You're incriminating, no disguise. And you ain't never running low on supplies. I'm on my way Drew house slippers on with a smile on my face I'm a lady that you are my lady You got the yum 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 So did you enjoy learning English with Justin Bieber? Well, if you would like us to make more lessons with Justin's songs or interviews, be sure to let us know by giving this video a like down below. And you can continue learning with the songs you love in this playlist. Now it's time to go beyond the classroom and live your English, Oh yeah!